Hello there, this is Life of Mar, and for this video I didn't plan an intro, but I have a surprise for y'all in 3, 2, 1. Okay, did you get that transition? Okay, so the surprise for you today is my sister. I'm spending um, my Good Friday or my Easter with her today, and yeah, that's the day that I'm filming this video. So. If you so you see me looking at this direction, don't even think of anything else other than the fact that I'm looking at my laptop. So, yeah, let's get into the business that we came here for. Five ways to improve your style. And I think I'm going to make a part two about this video because is five ways even enough? I don't think so. Okay, the first thing you can do to improve your style or the first part of your style or defining factor of your style is your shoes. The shoes you choose to have in your wardrobe can make or break your outfit. My sister's laughing because she knows most of my outfits are broken by the shoes. Or maybe now she knows. I think a lot of people agree with me that in the beginning of the fashion venture, you start off with like shoes or an obsession with shoes or a minor obsession with shoes. Like if you don't start off with shoes, I don't know what. You Maybe you start off with like an obsession with bags, but yeah. An obsession with shoes is what started my fashion venture like what um went on to wear on my shoes and then that was like then what else can i wear with those shoes um and then it just went as a whole a rabbit hole into me being who i am now the shoes constantly determine your fashion direction or your style direction so choosing the correct kind of shoes is really just important the shoes that you pick determine the shoes the the kind of aesthetic that you're going for so if you are into a person who's going out or like <coughs> wears a lot of mini dresses or you know, okay just wears a lot of casual clothes then you're going to wear have a lot of sneakers in your wardrobe and if you are somebody who wears more formally you're going to have more formal shoes and yeah that's what i'm trying to say if your style is um streetwear then what are you doing with those oxford shoes like how are you going out and saying this is like an a streetwear while you're wearing like oxford shoes i don't know if you understand what i'm saying but like wearing sneakers is for more casual clothes and like having your heels or your formal shoes is for formal clothes so the second thing you can do which should be the first one but it really is not because the first thing is shoes but like the second thing is to identify your style like um the different kinds of styles out in the world like tiktok has made a lot of like there's a lot of cores I, that can be identified in the fashion industry like for saying so you can just choose any one of those you know there are like um there are business cores there's like different kinds of styles that you can choose and venture into because for one i think i don't specifically have um, a, a style of my own and i feel like that is weird but also i feel like my style is more of business core and kind of it's not gothic but it's grunge so that's how i feel like i identify with my style like i try to rip like um to wear a lot of color and just be like colorful and stuff but that didn't work i just feel like having color is fine but having color with a mix of black or something that is neutral or just you know um yeah it works better but not wearing full on color so yeah it depends on whether you would like to have one specific type of style or you have a mimetic desire um Okay, so that's just something I learned from Ethan in um, White Lotus. <laughs> okay, so the third thing that we can venture into is like um, the skinny versus baggy debate. Um, I know I have a lot of I've made a lot of remarks mostly on the previous video, so of myself like um, where I was talking about skinny jeans and my hate for skinny jeans, but I. I think by the time of filming that filming that video and now I have come to understanding that people can exist with a different sort of style compared to me I mean like um, it doesn't have to be 
a whole fight like the is enough room on the table for skinny jeans people too i think okay basically my hate for skinny jeans is not specifically for women because women do suit like skinny jeans do suit women and i never saw that as like something that was wrong but in the case of men it's like a whole lot of you have to know your proportions and know it it, it needs strategy <laughs> like that's what I'm, I'm saying like so styling skinny jeans is really hard and maybe that's why i hate them i've learned to appreciate the different kinds of aesthetics people have personally i have a baggy aesthetic or a much grungier look so i am inclined to have um, a preference on baggy jeans um, compared to skinny jeans so if your style is more towards baggy and you're like to get loose fitting clothes styles like I'm, I'm going to include like pictures of loose fitting kind of aesthetics and also um, your skinny aesthetics so that you can get a look if you go to if you're going towards more skinny then it's going to look like this so basically the second step is to identify the type of silhouette you prefer whether it be baggy or skinny the fourth thing that we're going to go to is layering so um, since we know that like um, there are most people who prefer to wear less like less is more and there are more people who just like to go extravagant and wear the most clothes like literally their whole wardrobe at the same time so personally when I was like um, during my fashion venture and I was like learning about fashion the first things or my face basis was like um, how to actually layer I mean um, I would always just layer everything I would just layer a shirt under a t-shirt for example it didn't depend on whether the weather was like um, really hot or really cold I would just wear it like that because I just liked layering um, I'm going to show you also like the different kinds of layering and I think if you are into layering or wearing so many different types of clothing like you, you will learn you have to learn how to actually layer I've seen people wear like you know the shirt like a button-up shirt and and then they would wear a, a crop top on top of it and I think that is really cool and there are also people who just like wear so basic it's just like a basic tank top like every time so that guess that can be your also your own kind of style so just knowing whether or not you layer or you prefer not to layer so layering could also be a great way to improve your style the fifth one and which is the last one I guess is to de-influence yourself de-influence yourself from the media or what the media thinks is like really good for you like, de-influence yourself or even if you see somebody that you like on the internet or your favorite influencer or your favorite celebrity wearing something that is really nice and you see it on Shein um, Shein <laughs> then it doesn't mean you should actually get it just because it's accessible just depends on whether you like it yourself so you should de-influence yourself and find your own style instead of letting other people pick on what is good for you um yeah there's not much to dwell on this one just because like it's the last one i guess i don't know but you just have to know your style and stop letting people influence your style um so there's a bonus one which is to have fun with it so basically having fun with it um i mean at the end of the day it's your clothes that you're wearing it's how you get out of your room it's how you get out of the house like people just keep on saying um i have a lot of clothes but i don't have a lot of outfits if you know your style and you'd stop having so many clothes you know and having clothes that actually are outfitable <laughs> um so yeah you should have fun with the way that you wear your clothes at the end fashion is art and art is best at its truest self so you should express yourself in everything that you dress like if i see you out in the street or if you see me wearing something then that should represent who i am i mean i shouldn't just always see different kinds of people in you like 
that is concerning like one day you look like this person and one day you look like this other person like there's no form of originality in your kind of clothing there's no sort of consistency in your outfit that's the word that i was looking for but i guess it's good if you go and endeavor into all these different kinds of categories of clothing um while you are still young but as you grow older you need to find your identity in the fashion and not just wearing everything that is trending on sheen or trending on instagram or every outfit that is trending on tiktok so yeah i don't know what else to say so i guess this is the end of the video um thank you for watching um yeah